With your first news at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Bowman County boys have their sights set on a fourth straight cross-country state championship and they're ranked number one. The Bulldog girls are currently number two in the coaches' voting. They have won a combined 42.5% of all of the state meets in Class B history. J.T. Faribault puts the program in this week's Sports Spotlight. For the past 44 years, something's been happening in Bowman County. The Bulldogs cross-country team have been running laps around their opponents. Head coach Jonathan Yonner believes there's a pretty good reason for that. They're hard workers. They're just, you know, they, they work their tails off day in and day out. Uh, practice races, it doesn't matter, man. They, they come to work and it's just really fun to be with them. It's great kids, it's great families. We, we just got awesome people down there that know how to work hard. And you know, that's the beauty of it. With a combined 43 state titles between the boys and girls programs, success is a massive part of the team's culture. We've had been lucky to have top end guys and girls uh, that set that example and therefore the whole program sees, man, if I want to do this, I got to be like that guy. And so that's super cool. It's really inspiring and every day you just know you can show up and everyone's going to be there working their hardest and it just really helps to know that and just working hard every day to be your best self. Taylor Warner is a junior. His brother Austin was the individual state champion last year. Having upperclassmen that set a great example is what helps build a program. I've always looked up to seniors. We've had Camden Wolk on my seventh grade year, then Brian Miller and Gavin Scott, and then Austin Warner and Caleb Sarsland. Losing Austin and Caleb the last year was really tough because they, they brought so much personality and like bond, like they helped the bond so much. So it was really sad to lose them, but we just, we just try and live up to what they left us. Running long distance takes everything an athlete's got. Having a close-knit team that feels like family pushes the Bulldogs runners further than they sometimes think they could go. It's a, it's a second home. Like you just feel at home when you're with a team and make you feel great and always push you and it's just great. The team atmosphere that we have really helps each day. You come in with a good attitude and we all push each other every single day and yeah, just the team really helps you every day to push yourself to the max. The Bulldogs will be competing in the Hayes and Beulah Invitational this Friday at Black Sands Golf Course with the spotlight on the Bowman County Cross Country Program. I'm JT Farabo reporting for your news leader. It's a win for the Bobcats to open the hockey season. Bismarck beat New Hampshire in the NHL showcase. The Cats got goals in the first and third periods. Clayton Knapp with the shutout in goal. Dickinson State's Bryce Reed is the men's golfer of the week in the North Star Conference. He was one under in the first round of the Montana Tech Invitational. He followed it up with a 73 to be the tournament runner up. New, uh, New Rockford's two-point win over North Prairie opened the door for the Holsteins to go back to number one in nine-man football. Sargent County also moves up, and the Rockets are third after that big win. South Porter's number four. In Class A, Velva is on top. Trinity is third, and the Skyhawks are number five this week. And this afternoon, Griffin Jacks gave up the game-winning home run in the ninth inning as Tampa beats the Twins 5-4. They will head to Chicago tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Lee. We'll be right back after this.